Two of our daughters are married and sometimes they need to just have a conversation and they're, they're wait, well, I'll wait till Abu goes now, kind of talk about this girly stuff, you know? <laughs> so it opens up the schedule and a lot of people go, I don't want my schedule open. You don't know if you want it opened up until you have it opened up. Assalamu alaikum, peace. I'm Coach Nadir. Assalamu alaikum, peace. I'm Coach Fatima, his wife. Assalamu alaikum, peace. I'm Coach Nadir. I'm also his wife. Yep, we are the founders of Outstanding Personal Relationships and authors of Let's Talk Polygyny Uncensored. Yeah. So if you haven't figured out, I'm married to both these women. We practice polygyny. And today we want to address a polygyny myth. Okay? And we all know that myths are something that people believe to be true, but usually aren't true. Okay? So the myth we're going to discuss today is very common, hence it's a myth. The common, it says this, it says, you know what, polygyny, a man married to multiple women, he's the only one that really benefits from this type of arrangement. A man that has multiple wives, there's no benefit to the women. All right? So let's address that myth. Who want to start? Mythbusters. Yeah. <laughs> um, mythbusters. Yeah, we mythbusters. <laughs> we probably mythbusters. Um... I, okay, I guess I'll go first on this because, I mean, I guess the, it comes into the, yeah, of course you're going to say that it's not only, you know, for the husband because you're an incoming wife, you're the second <laughs> wife, so of course you're going to say that. <laughs> However, yes, I am going to say that because it's so many different things that, you know, the benefits that come from um, as far as women are concerned. But I realized that I think we actually have more benefits <laughs> than the men do, um, depending on, I mean, dealing with what they deal with when it comes to taking care of the families and making sure that um, emotions are protected and a lot of different things like that. It's not just to go, let me marry someone else and go skip away into the sunset in the forest and <laughs> whatever the case may be. Yeah, but skipping to the forest. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody. That's we ain't scary. skipping away to the forest. That's not scary. That's that's skipping like forest. But, <laughs> but the thing is, ain't coming is back. That, anyway, you're not forest. You know, the sunset and the, 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 the tree. No, whatever. I don't know. Forget all that. What I'm saying is, is that it's not just benefits for them. And now, like I said, I think more, way more benefits for us um, because of the the time. You know, where the time is split. You know, you do have some time for a little bit more self-care. Uh, with me, I'm like, this family is pretty large. You don't want to be seeing us right here, but our family is pretty large. And um, to be able to say, hey, um, go ask your brother to take you here, or, you know, hey, you know, your only Fatima, you know, is inviting y'all over and yeah. giving me a break. That is amazing. So, you know, so there's a number of benefits like that. And just the relationship that I have with my co-wife, where it's just a beautiful friendship. Mm -hmm. You can get that. I know a lot of times people are like, well, you should be sworn enemies and all those other crazy things like that. But seriously, that is a great benefit in polygyny when you're going through some stuff. I went through probably a number of things within this past year that I don't know how I would have dealt with it if it wasn't for her. So it is a beautiful thing. That's just a few of the benefits that I can talk about, you know, what I've been through. And that other people have even said, as far as having a co-wife as a friend, person that was helping her with some things, teaching her some things, having bonus children, women who have can't have children, yeah. who married yeah. someone else, who you know has her bonus children that's around her. So yeah, it's a lot of benefits. I think for me um, personally, it's just a lot of time for myself so that I can work on myself. Hey guys, we want to just step in here for a few moments and give you some really important information. Indeed. You know, we get asked quite a bit about, you know, where should I start? What should I do when it comes to marriage? Do you do premarital stuff? What about polygyny? And we do. We actually have a course called the Relationship Mastery Inner Circle. 
So let me tell you about it very briefly. You can go ahead and check it out and decide whether or not it's for you. Um, basically, every single week, one of us releases, releases a brand new topic along with worksheets. OK, and downloadable audios as well in our private members area, because if you enjoy the video that you're watching now, I think you will really enjoy going a lot deeper again, depending on where you are in your relationships. So with that being said, you can go ahead and check the information out again, whether you're practicing polygyny, you intend to, you want to get better. But the main thing is if you want to be outstanding above average, then you may want to definitely check out the Relationship Mastery Inner Circle. So make sure you click the link in the description and let us let you get back to the video. So I know many times that, you know, when we're wives and we're mothers, we get distracted by the title, you know, or titles. And it doesn't allow us to work on ourselves because we're so used to giving to those two roles that were depleted and then we don't have anything left for ourselves. So polygyny taught me that I need to refocus and recenter, redirect my energy toward me more so than others so that I can help others. You know, I wasn't equipped before to help like I can now. And also having adult children to be able to talk to them when they need to about deep stuff, like really deep conversations. Two of our daughters are married and sometimes they need to just have a conversation and they're been wait, well, I'll wait till I go now kind of talk about this girly stuff, you know. <laughs> so it opens up the schedule. And a lot of people go, I don't want my schedule open. You don't know if you want it opened up until you have it opened up. You don't know what that looks like until you're in it. So the benefits of personal development growth and opening up my schedule and having a closer bond with the law, for me as a practicing Muslima, it, it was priceless. So I'm not the me that I was before. It wasn't about making it like it was before polygyny. It's about making it as close to what I can, but better. So that's the benefit for me personally, especially, 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 especially as an initial wife to those of you that are new. Um, and even the subsequent wives deal with this as well. But the initial wife, it, it's a different role because you're the one that's going to get hit with it first. <laughs> that's what I've been told. I got to hit with it. Uh, first with polygyny and I'm like, I didn't get hit with anything. Um, I got elevated by it. So it's, it's about what we say to ourselves about this lifestyle. This lifestyle is not easy, but it's not something that's impossible. And we got to understand that, you know, we want to make it impossible. It's so easy to not like it. It's so easy to not like co-wives. It's so easy. We would not be here if it wasn't for the work that we did. So that matters so much. And, um, Especially in polygyny, especially. We we'll say you hug. <clears throat> well, what is your opinion when people say, "Oh, you know, now you get half a husband. He only your husband half the time." Oh, well, we've heard it. Mm -hmm. um, he doesn't get off. He's not off the clock at any time. Right. So when they do that, they say, "Well, he's waiting on the air off the clock today." I'm like, "What clock?" Well, you know, <laughs> there ain't no clock. He's 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 our husband all the time. So now you might not physically have access to him, but he doesn't have physical access to you all the time. So we want to keep score. Well, you don't get to see him all the time. You don't get to see me all the time. What do you mean? <laughs> I matter. You know, um, I, I recently as our family traveled, and I was actually traveling with my co-wife and we <laughs> playing with the kids. Funny shout out to us. And shout out to Coach Nadir for the, you know, a couple legs with us too. But I specifically remember this little girl was sitting a couple rows behind, she asked her dad, what do you do for a living? And he told her. And then she asked her mom, what do you do? And she just kind of looked at her daughter. And the daughter, this girl was four years old, one of them smart ones. She goes, you're supposed to want to be somebody too. To her mom. <laughs> this gives me a chance to work on somebody I want to be too. <laughs> so, I don't want... What's nice about OPR and the work we're doing, our children get to say, our bonus children get to say, I like the work that you all are doing because you're helping other people. But that couldn't help with our growth. So we get him, he gets us, but maybe not our presence all the time. So when people say he's clocking in and out, he's with us. Yeah. He's there for us when we need him. I like that you said that. 100% husband, 100% of the time. Yeah. <laughs> And even the monogamy, you—he's mm -hmm. not physically there, exactly, a hundred percent of the time. So I yeah. think 
you know, you, you want nobody to be there 100% of the time all the time. Right. And and we do tend to generalize and sort of delete when we sit there and say, oh, when we did this and that and everything like that, I'm like, you ain't do that all the time. That no. only was one time That's in life. your life that you did this. You know, so we have to be careful with that and say, you know, um, he's not with me all the time anyway. Do I really want him with me all the time? He's anyway? not built for that. We're not built for that. We're not even built to be around people. All Can you be imagine being around your child all the time? Just all the time. Well, you already know. You go, I want to be around them all the time. No, I've never met a parent that ever said that. I don't get to be with them all the time. Babysitter came from somewhere. <laughs> Babysitter. See, they can give them back. So it's like, but, but when you're a parent, we have to have breaks from our children. We love them. Mm -hmm. We want to be around them, but they don't have time. So we have to keep things into perspective. So we've had every, we've had been on live. Somebody asked, "Will you get a half a husband?" Or the coach had to he gone. Uh, I left him at home too. <laughs> I went on trips. And then went with each other. We didn't <laughs> went with each other. Oh I had no idea at that time. So I just left kids yes. and work. So it's fine. Same, it's life. Right. And people got to understand that's part of life is yeah, that you don't get jobs, access to people school, all the time. Kind of but they want to make it a poly thing. That ain't a poly thing. That's a life thing. A life thing. Thank right. You. Right. Right. So true. Like we talked about, um, we have a big family, right? So we have uh, between all of us is twelve children, uh, ten biological children, two bonus children, right? Out of those, five of them are young women. Two are already married, and they prefer monogamy. They have none. Three of them prefer polygyny. Never been in a relationship. None of that. Three of them actually want to be in a polygynous marriage because they recognize the benefits that come mm -hmm. for the women in collision. Mm -hmm. Okay, because again, there are a number of different identities and I shared it before, it's not really a video for it, but just in collision between us three, there are seven different spheres that we really operate mm -hmm. in. Okay, and again, now is not the video for that. Of course, you can go to our store and check out our deep dive products or counseling and coaching that goes along with it. But the fact of the matter is there are a whole bunch of benefits. Mm -hmm. Now, yes. the main benefit that people throw out there with polygyny, oh, sex, you have more sex, you have sex with people. Okay, cool, here's the deal. Hey. Um, there's 24 hours in a day. I got to address this because there's 24 hours in a day. How many hours a day are you participating in your marriage and having sex? One hour, two hours, three? Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Very small fraction, one to begin with. But there's a whole lot more, clearly the majority of time that goes into other marital issues and things. Right? See, and furthermore, um, how many people do you know that just waited to get married to have sex? What are, what are the stats look like? Who's 16 out these streets just all over each other? That's the thing. Stop thinking like a teenager on this adult Thank stuff. Mm. Thank you. See, that's that part. We're not teenagers. So I said, it, <laughs> when you, <laughs> I was going to say when you're my age, but that's all right. I'll leave that out. But <laughs> uh, I'm not a 16, 15 year old girl. And if I was, I wasn't a 15, 16 year old boy. So they operate different. Right? So when we start thinking like teenage, oh, it's just about sex. Yeah, to a 14, 15 year old boy, yeah, it is. <laughs> or they full of babies. Or some of the, the right? reasoning, I'm gonna tell you, ladies, ladies, Ridiculous. stop trying to figure out why. It's too stop much. Stop trying to figure out why because one, you're not a man. Oh, you don't possess boy. the tools. Okay? Literally. And this is what I mean. When I hear women talking about, oh, you know, I wish that polyandry, we could have multiple husbands and stuff like that when they talk about Islam. Oh, yeah. And people, you can do whatever you want to do. I don't care if it's polyandry, polyamory, polygyny, oh, whatever. Oh, you can do whatever you want to do. You're an adult. All right? We just simply throw morals. We practice polygyny. But here, listen to this, though. The reason that I heard from women when they said it, well, I'll just choose this husband for this week. He yeah. do this for me and that for me and this for me and that for me. Okay. See, they're looking at being served. Right. That's the reverse role. As the husband, I'm not looking for, oh, her to serve me and then her to serve me. I'm a man. I have to demonstrate value. Yeah. So I'm serving my family. That's not easy. Okay, it's not, oh, I get to choose this and do that. Y'all do that for me. You're not thinking about traditional gender roles because we believe in gender roles strongly. Mm -hmm. We believe you must have skills to handle business. So cooking is not just a woman's skill and so on and so forth. You need to have basic life skills in general, like we teach our children, but we believe in gender roles. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's not that, oh, yeah, I'm going to marry you and you you with the, I don't cook, don't clean, wipe it out and everything else. And you know, you head for divorce. <laughs> you know what I mean? So with that being said, if you are a man, you're a man of value, you actually have to be more than twice the average man because you got to separate yourself from the trivial many. But that means you have to serve the masses. Yeah. You got to serve your family. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that in and of itself 
destroys the whole myth that you're sitting back getting fed grapes and I ain't been fed grapes and fan from neither one of these ladies. <laughs> and no one are interested. Because <laughs> we want a legacy bill. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know. We have to make a video or something. I don't know. But anyway, the whole point is there are a lot, there are benefits that go around um, in this ancient form of marriage to begin with. And it don't just sit with all the man just saw the benefits because in your mind you think it being served if it yeah. was the reverse roles versus actually doing the serving being a man and demonstrating that. Yeah. So preferably that help dealing with this myth busting idea that women get no benefits in religion. <laughs> all right, so with that, we'll work out some GLC. Make sure you're growing intentionally, loving fearlessly, and connecting on a higher level every, every single, single day. day. So all in peace. Peace, peace y'all. Here are three ways outstanding personal relationships can help you. Make sure you guys are following us on our social medias at Outstanding Personal Relationships on YouTube and Facebook and on IG at Outstanding Relationships and also Clubhouse under our names. And make sure you go to OutstandingPersonalRelationships.com and sign up for our email list. And there you will get updates on our new book, Let's Talk Polygyny Uncensored. Absolutely. And... Last but not least, when it comes to coaching or counseling, if you want to work with us one on one or in group settings, make sure you're on that website and reach out to us because we do have very limited spots and we like usually have a wait list. So with that being said, GLC, make sure you are growing intentionally, loving fearlessly and connecting on a higher level every, every single, single day. day. Stone Lake. Peace. peace.